going to draw a cartoon boxer. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along with us. You need something to draw with, a marker, some paper, and... Something to color with. All right, let's do this. Okay. We're first going to draw a big eye over here in the top left of our paper. We're going to draw a big circle like that. Yeah. Then we're going to draw a smaller circle inside for the highlight and then color in the big circle, but leave the little one white. And if we ever go too fast and you need extra time, our art friends can do what? Pause the video. Yeah, you guys can pause the video. All right, Hadley, you ready to draw his head? Yeah. We're going to first draw a curve that goes over the top of the eye. Then we're going to draw it coming back like this. Then we're going to draw his ear. We're going to draw a curve coming up. They have pointy ears. Sometimes they flop down, sometimes they stick up. Mm -hmm. So we're going to draw another curve that comes down like this. So I drew an S curve. It's kind of tricky, but you can curve one direction and then back the other. Yeah, you did it. Then right here, we could draw another curve inside. Okay, now let's give him two ears so that he looks 3D. We'll draw another curve coming forward and then we'll curve back down. All right, now let's draw his nose. We're going to draw, let's first draw a short line down. Then we're going to draw a short line forward. And then right here, we're going to draw another curve that comes down diagonal. So it's coming down. Yep. And then we're going to draw, we're going to draw the first part of his mouth. We're going to draw a curve that comes back the other way. <laughs> I know it's going to look funny first, but we're going to fix it. <laughs> Then we're going to draw another curve coming back up. This is for... Kind of looks like a pig. Yeah, kind of. We'll, we'll make him look cuter in just, <laughs> just a second. And then we get, let's draw a little curve right here for his nose. Yeah. And then right here, we're going to draw another curve down here for the bottom of his mouth. All right. Good job, Hadley. Now let's draw his neck. We're going to start right here, and we're going to draw a, we're going to draw a curve that curves down like this for the front of his neck. And we're also going to draw the back of his neck back here. Yeah, good job. <laughs> I like your little boxer. He's turning out super cute. Okay, now let's draw, let's draw one more curve right here for his jaw. They have really strong jaws. Yeah. Okay, now let's draw his chest. We're going to draw a curve like this coming back. Now let's draw his first front leg. We're going to draw a really long line coming down. Yeah, you can come down and then come down a little further. Yeah, there you go. Because they're really tall dogs. Then we're going to come back here and we're going to draw the back of his leg coming forward. And look at this right down here at the bottom. We're going to get closer. So we're further away at the top and then closer down at the bottom. Good job. Now let's draw his paw. We're going to draw a curve like this, comes around, and then connects back into the back of his leg. Yeah. All right. And then let's add one little toe line. Okay. Let's make him look 3D. So we're going to add another front leg. We're going to draw another line. And we're only drawing part of it because the other part of his leg is behind this first one. Good. And then we can draw his paw right here. And then another little toe line. <laughs> That's super cute. All right, Hadley, now we're ready to draw his belly. We're going to draw another S line. It starts here, and we're going to draw it coming up like this and then curving right at the end. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to draw his back leg, and we're going to draw a really cool, strong back leg. We're going to draw first bending like this. This curve is the top of his back leg, and it's only going down halfway, so it's going down to his knees on the front, on his front legs. So this is a little point that you can use for a guide. You're going to draw a little curve that comes down and connects to that point. Yeah, good. And then right here, we're going to draw it curving back the other way, and we're going to stop at the bottom of his front legs. So we'll come down maybe right about there. So we can curve the other way. Yes, you did it. Now we're going to draw his back. He's got a really strong back. So we're going to come up here to the back of his neck and we'll draw a short curve coming down. He's got really strong shoulders. And then we're going to draw the rest of his back coming around like this. 
and we're gonna curve down to the back. Yeah, keep going. And then curve down. Yes, and then we're gonna stop halfway down. Good. Now you can bring that line a little further down, right about there. Then we're gonna curve and finish the rest of his back leg. Now that part was a little tricky, but you did a great job. And it's okay because the most important thing is to have fun. Have fun and to practice. Practice. Remember that second part. You could do this lesson all over again, and I promise the second time you draw your boxer, it'll turn out even better than the first time. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Now let's draw his back paw. We're gonna start on the front. We're gonna draw a big curve that comes around like this and connect to the back just like we did on the front. Yeah, and then we can add that little toe line. All right, what's he missing back here? His other leg. Yeah, his fourth leg. <laughs> Let's draw a little curve. We're just gonna match the same front, the front line of his back leg. There you go. We're just drawing it right next to him. This is a simple way to draw legs on our dog. So he looks 3D. We're gonna add, oh, we're gonna continue around and then connect it in, sorry. We're gonna draw that paw so we can just draw a sideways U or a C shape. And then what are we missing? His toe lines. Toe lines, yeah, there we go. All right, what's our little boxer missing? His tail. His tail. We're gonna draw a short little tail. It's gonna come out like this, curve around, and then back end. Yeah. All right, Hadley, we're almost done. Let's do one last thing. We're gonna add lines to separate all of the different colors on his fur. So we're gonna start over here and we're gonna draw a curve that comes around his eye like this. And we're gonna come down and connect to the bottom of his cheek. Their faces are black and then we're gonna draw the rest of his body brown and white. So let's draw a line that comes down from here and then we're gonna draw a curve that comes down to his chest. So a short line down, and then curve down to his chest. Then we're gonna add a curve on his front leg. And then we can also add a little curve on his other front leg. And then let's do the same thing back here. We'll draw another curve on his back leg and his other back leg. Let's do one more curve right here on his belly. We're gonna curve up and then back down. <laughs> Our dogs look so awesome, but they're gonna look even better once we do what? Color it! Yeah, we still need to color them. This part we're gonna fast forward one more time, but at the end you guys can pause it if you want to match the same coloring. Alright, Hallie, you ready to fast forward? Yeah! five it really looks like a boxer now that you have all of the colors on there I hope our art friends are gonna color their drawings also we use brown for the main uh, color of the body and then we use black and dark brown for the face also the ears and we even added shading to the legs to make them look even more 3d mm -hmm. we hope you had a lot of fun drawing your boxer yeah we do we hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later our friends goodbye hey parents and teachers join our monthly membership and download our app. You can watch all of our art lessons in a safe, distraction-free environment. In the app, you can also download lessons to watch without any Wi-Fi connection. Just visit artforkidshub.tv to join.